If you're having major issues with your Mac, these two quick tips that I'll be teaching you in this video will help you resolve that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications for more pro Mac tips. But before you get hasty with reinstalling your Mac OS, it's always good practice to back up your entire device on an external storage device. But of course you don't want to back up everything because you don't want to take that system junk with you. So I'm going to recommend a program called Clean My Mac X. So with this program, I'm going to go to System Junk. I'm going to run a quick scan, review details. And once I selected everything, I'm going to hit clean. And just like that, we got rid of 5.5 gigabytes of trash off our computer, but we could do more. So back on the home screen, I'm going to go to large and old files down here, run a quick scan. This module is really awesome because it shows me a whole catalog and categorization of all the files on my computer, starting from pictures, movies, music, to the size of the files, and even when I last accessed some of these files. So once I selected my files, I'm going to hit remove. And just like that, over 26 gigabytes of junk has been removed from my computer. And just like that, over 32 gigabytes of trash were removed right off of my Mac. I really recommend Clean My Mac X. It makes your life so much easier. And if you want, there's a download link in the description box below to get you started. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to plug in your external storage and I want to remind you that this storage should only be dedicated to backing up your device. Nothing else should be on this. So once that's plugged in, we're going to go to system settings, go to general then time machine. And on this menu, you're going to want to hit the plus button. And when you type in your password to your computer, then time machine will start backing up your entire device on that external storage. And just a quick question for you viewers, comment down below on the reason why you want to reinstall macOS. There's a bunch of reasons why we might want to, but maybe some other viewers might find your answer to be helpful. Comment down below. We would love to know. So the first tip for today is to use something called Mac OS Recovery, and there's two ways to do it, depending on what device you're using. If you're using an Apple Silicon Mac that uses a chip called the M1, M2, or M3, this is the way you're gonna do it. You're gonna wanna shut down your entire Mac, then hold down the power button until you see this screen. You're gonna wanna click on Options, and then hit Continue, and type in any password that's necessary. If you're using an Intel Mac, you're also gonna wanna turn off your Mac, and then turn it back on by just quickly hitting that power button, and then you're gonna wanna hold down one of these three commands on the screen right now. When you see a window with the option to re install Mac OS, you have started up from recovery correctly. Click continue and follow those on-screen instructions and you should be on your way. The other way to do this is through a bootable installer and this is just basically downloading a program from Apple to reinstall an older version or a different version of Mac OS depending on your needs. This is a good option if the first way that I told you didn't work or if you're trying to reinstall Mac OS on multiple Macs because you don't want to do that whole process over and over again for so many computers. What you're going to need is another external storage device not the one that you backed up your device on. We'll drop a link to the Apple website that'll look like this, and you have all the options to download a bootable install from Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and Lion. Say, for example, we want to download Sierra. Then you'll drag that downloaded program onto your external storage device. You're going to want to double-click that program. Then you'll find a PKG file. Then you're going to want to double-click that. And then follow the on-screen instructions to reinstall the Mac OS. And if you need more help on clearing more storage to make this possible, you can click the video link right here for more tips on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications of more pro Mac tips.